audience collab with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a super cute summer paper plate holder out of these things I got at Dollar Tree. All right, so we start with a round and I cut it in half. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, don't cut it in half with your scissors because it makes it splinter. Cut it with something else. And you'll see here, I'm trying to sand it, but see how it splintered? Oh, I was so mad. Then I have two um, paint stirrers that I cut to seven inches, but you know what I figured out after? Those little um, craft sticks work. Then I'm gonna mark where I want to have some holes. See how I'm marking that? I use my crocodile, I pop a couple holes in it. Now I have a dowel, I got it from Dollar General. I don't remember the diameter, but it fits perfect with the hole that the crocodile made. And I'm using two um, wood beads. I think they're about an inch to two inches. Um, and I'm just measuring out how tall I need this dowel to be and I cut it to size. Next, I have a damp cloth and I'm going to paint my the halves that I have, all of the pieces basically. I'm gonna paint them all white. I'm using a chalk paint. Um, and then look at these napkins. Oh, got them at Dollar Tree. And they're adorable. I'm gonna cut it in half. Perfect. They actually have like a wrinkled look to the painting, believe it or not. So we're gonna paint our, um, our, cir our half circles. We're gonna paint one side of each with some Mod Podge and then we're gonna put our napkin down on that. Now, we're gonna put some cellophane or plastic wrap on top of that. And I'm using my brayer, but you could use like a bottle, anything. This just helps it not be wrinkled. But I'm gonna tell you right now, again, these napkins have the paint, almost makes it look like it's wrinkled. And you'll see when I go to sand it, you'll see how it's it's almost got a wrinkled look to it. So don't go too crazy, right? And then we're gonna sand off the edges, or the excess, I should say. Perfect. See how it looks wrinkled? Yeah, it's not actually wrinkled. Um, I let that dry and then I put a top layer of the Mod Podge on top of that just to seal it. Easy peasy. And we're going to do that. So you're going to do that for both sides or both pieces. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to put it together. We have our paint stirrers. We have our cut down dowels and we're going to put our dowels in each one of the holes. And then we're going to put our um, wood beads on that. And then you're going to put your other paint stirrer on top of that. I tap it in with a hammer gently, of course. Now I suppose you don't need the wood beads, but I just thought it made it look pretty. So see, there we go. Now, here's another lesson I learned. I'm gonna put some wood glue on and I'm gonna put some hot glue on. The key is to put it on only where your um, watermelon slice is gonna go. I didn't do that, I went too much and now I have glue Ah, so mad, <laughs> excess glue. So just be mindful of it, learn from my mistakes. See, you can see the glue, Ah, so mad. Anyways, so the other side, I was a little bit more mindful and I glue my other slice on. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, this is so much fun. I don't know about you, but I go through a ton of paper plates, so I'm always looking for fun ways to display them. Um, I put a couple wood beads on the outside only because I messed up, right? Right? Because you could see the glue. So I just put some wood beads to cover it up. But anyways, friends, that's it. I hope this inspires you. Thank you so much for watching.